Hey guys, here is part three of Jade and I's discussion about Supernatural, the finale, the final season, and the fandom as a whole. Thank you guys so much for your responses to these videos. It's been really awesome to see that. Jade and I had a real great time putting these together. And on a side note, as I mentioned several times in this video as well as the last few, my video essay about the Supernatural finale will be coming out this week, so be prepared for it. It's going to be a fun time. In the meantime, enjoy our conversation. It's a real fun one, and you guys can expect that video essay coming out this week mm -hmm. um but again these guys have just done themselves like essentially by the end of the show uh they had become well dean essentially was a giant caricature of what his former character was like i'm what i've i've put side by side uh audio of him in season four and then him in season 15 and he is doing the cheesiest in his voice in the in in season 15 and then i'm i'm waiting to see when that like right now that's when he's starting to go like he's come from hell so he's brooding now um but i'm waiting to see when that voice transition fully happens because if from like you've seen you've heard well, you went to the con you've heard how jared uh, jensen actually talks he doesn't yeah. talk like that yeah no uh all of them i think except jared uh they all like lower their voice to play oh the yeah Ka especially especially misha <laughs> misha totally does like i think that was part of the reason why um the french connection is such a funny episode is because when he's on his phone and he's tweeting like hanging out with the guys um <laughs> yeah it's yeah i do admit though i uh i uh what was it i watched someone who just did a kind of compilation of different things from some of the conventions and i don't know a part of me would feel slightly like i at one point what did jensen do jensen said he got some he spilt something on his shirt or something and he pulled up his shirt as a like a flash move to like take mm -hmm. care of it but it was more to show it was clearly to show off his abs and when all the girls were like Woo! he just did this yeah kind of spot i was like oh Oh, I didn't really like seeing that. That was weird. Yeah, no, I get that. Uh, I, I, um, I, because I, that, that's like you have like all the fangirls who like um, over sexualize the characters a lot, and it's just and the actors too, and that's. Um, it makes I mean, it makes me think of NT and what's it of uh, like all the the middle aged uh, housewives who would go to the New Kids on the Block reunion tour. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like they see them, like, um, take off one layer of clothing, and they're like, Woo! <laughs> and it's like, chill. Yeah. <laughs> like... No, it's like, whoa, throw some ice on you. Oh, there was one, too, <laughs> where um, I watched one, um, and I don't know, they were, they, were re they were talking about a scene, and it was Jensen and Misha, and misha or jensen was lying on his back and misha gets on top of him and he's slowly doing it all the while everyone's going Whoa! and then i can't remember what he said but he's, he went up to him he's he, i think they were talking about when misha was beating the shit out of dean in season eight and mm -hmm. he's like misha's describing the scene but then all of a sudden he goes closer grabs jared jensen's like kind of uh, his collar and he's like ah you like that don't you you son of a bitch <laughs> i was like oh wow okay they are definitely playing into this they are clearly paint playing into this and that's kind of my reflection on how the show ended is that they were playing into those crowds they were playing into like fuck me if i if i'm wrong but i think the conventions uh receptions are what changed the show like it, it went from like it's a it's a like it's a bizarre thing like we're watching your videos and like that's the strangest kind of thing i've ever seen and like um just the whole thing like, it's like it's you you get to like the the signings and the photos are that of like a normal comic-con mm -hmm. but then everything afterwards is totally di well maybe them up on the stage and answering questions the q and a's yeah but they do a lot of honestly um I've only been to two Supernatural conventions, and there's actually one 20 minutes away from my apartment um, in 2021, so hopefully I'll be able to go to that if, uh, you know, COVID is, um, I, I don't know, though. I'm not getting my hopes up for it, but... I, yeah, um, well, right now, they, yeah. <laughs> the thing is, uh, it, it's more with creation entertainment. They, 
Um, they have like a lot of cool events at these conventions, but they make it so astronomically expensive. Oh, for, it's... like there's like a pajama party for like, with uh, Brianna and uh, uh, fuck, uh, girl Jody Mills. Uh, Kim Rhodes. Kim Rhodes, yes, <laughs> I blanked for a second, um, but like that's a th- it's like three hundred dollars for like a pajama party before the con starts, and like I get that they're like exclusive events, but it's like you're already paying a thousand dollars for like a gold <laughs> ticket or like seven hundred dollars for a oh, silver ticket. No, honestly, or, like, <laughs> like really, really honestly, I it, I it's not. Uh, I'm not making the comparison, but it mm-hmm. did remind me. It reminded me of well, back when I, oh, fuck, when I was a teenager, I worked at a trade expo uh, hall mm-hmm. in Abbotsford, and we had a, uh, a like a Christian priest preacher guy come by, um, and the mannerisms of the people, the the giving the money, the 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 overzealous work like uh celebration and worship obviously but uh, there's like some of the clips i've seen of the supernatural things and this guy just gave me like whoa that is that is eerily close not on the knob not on not on the the button but just in terms of that hundred percent like it's it's not it's not celebrating the fandom anymore. It's cel- It's like worshiping it. Yeah. And uh, it, like <laughs> it, it. It got me. It, it weirded me out a little bit. Like it gave me mm-hmm. a little bit of like certain people at these things kind of give me like a cult vibe. <laughs> to yeah, be hundred percent would... honest, and it, it's just like I don't know if I could ever go to one of these things. Um, personally, like it I, I worry like that. If, <laughs> oh, I, that's what I mean. Like if I went and asked them. Well, now I don't feel so... I wouldn't feel as alone to say it now, considering how the season happened, but I was I, I was terrified of the notion of going to one of these mm-hmm. and actually giving a critical question, like, hey, don't you guys think that the show's kind of gone downhill the last... I was afraid I would be fucking murdered. Uh, you'd probably get booed at, yeah. Uh, because, um, you know, a lot of the people who are willing to spend that much money to go to one of these conventions are people who are like super diehard fans and are really very critical of the show and i'm not saying i'm not speaking for everybody and i'm not saying that i'm like i i'm like ultra super die i mean yeah i kind of i definitely am like diehard fan but i try my best to be like critical from a point where it's like um fair but also like i really sometimes there's there's just some things i just can't get past like the entirety of uh episode 20 <laughs> um but yeah no you're you're, you're right though it kind of gives me cult culty vibes a little bit um and it's hard to come cause... down from that it's definitely yeah. hard like that's why i i wonder how jensen and jared are going to be going forward because maybe i think jensen is the more humble of the two um maybe but i also know that he has more money than than jensen does um that was something that i was told because like, he's the one who had, i thought both of them had jets but no it's jared it's jared who has the jet um mm-hmm. but it's i don't know it, it's a weird thing to think of just the whole idea that this is something that's it's a past thing now and to see i'm i'm curious to see how they where they go forward with this well because they're still uh, under contract with um, creation entertainment. They still have to do the conventions, and I, they, they even said they didn't plan on stopping doing the conventions. And oh I, fuck no! Would you if you got that much of a reaction? Uh, no, uh, the, the the whole thing is like, uh, you know, obviously they're probably their management wouldn't make them stop because how think about how much fucking money that brings in. Can, it's it, it feels kind of exploitative because you know like. I don't want to have to pay five hundred dollars for a picture with my favorite actors, but oh am yeah, I no. gonna? Yeah, because I love them. No, oh, I've seemed... I've always want. I I thought of yeah, no, and I I applaud you for doing that. Like fuck, I've I've thought about it, and I just I can't I can't uh, allow myself to spend that much money on something. Yeah, uh, for 
I actually, this was, this was at the convention I went to, um, there was a video on Twitter of Jared looking at the photo op prices for um, the con, and he like looked slightly taken aback, and it's like, how do you not know the own prices of your photos? But at the same time, like, I paid, uh, like, the picture that's my profile picture on like everything with Jared, I paid like two hundred dollars for that picture. Ooh. Don't get me wrong, it was I it was worth it. Um, that'd be like two hundred and sixty, two hundred seventy dollars here. Mhm. It was it was worth it. Um, oh yeah, for, you know for, for a one time thing, yeah for sure. Yeah, and like if I went to another convention, I'd definitely probably get another photo op. It's just uh, I would probably instead of just getting the one with Jared, I'd save up for the one with all three of them. Because I feel like that's probably worth it a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I, uh, I, just the last few cons that have, like the ones in Seattle, the one in, uh, in Vancouver, I, I don't, like, I'll go and maybe I'll walk in the line just to say hi. But I, unless I really, really want to, I don't get anything signed by anyone. I don't get photos of anyone. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I have a photo of me in, where is he? He's in this room somewhere. Where is it? Is it down there? Where the fuck did it go? I don't know. It's somewhere around here. Um, there's a. I got a photo with Billy Boyd for a, a Pippin, and I've mm-hmm. always felt like that was just the strangest choice. So it's like there's this this photo of me and him. I was like, did you, I, I maybe said like a couple of words to him, and that was it. And I was like, fuck, that was kind of like with the uh, with the honest. Like I get um, a lot of times the photo ops are like kind of rushed, but Jared. Um, at least with my experience, um, with both the photo op and the autograph, he, like, took the time to, like, talk to you and, like, kind of make it worth it. Because, um, during my photo op, I was, like, uh, a giant ball of fucking anxiety. And he could tell because when I when I went to go walk away, he, like, grabbed my arm and he was like, are you okay? Oh, <laughs> that's nice of Jared Padalecki himself asked me if I was okay. And, um... <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> um, but, like, when with my autograph, for example, I got a little deep when I was talking to him because it was, like, my moment to be, like, hey, you, like, changed my life. And, um, you know, the, f- the first thing he said to me was, uh, I, he was like, I, I have a question for you. And I'm like, Jared Padalecki has a question for me? And he's like, what the fuck is wrong with my marker? And his marker was all fucked up. And I was like, I don't know, man. And he thought that was really funny. Um, and, it, you know, it's like, um, and we talked still. And I was, like, sobbing in front of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but... the, the, honestly, that's, I, I prefer, those signing sessions are, I feel a lot better because you actually get to have a conversation with them, right? Yeah. You're not allowed to record it or take pictures. Um, and honestly, no, I... Uh, yeah, some of them do. I know that. Which kind of sucks. Um, but with mine i got my guitar signed um yeah the white guitar. Oh, i i know you can't see me right now but in the background of this video that i'm recording my guitar is in the back it's signed by jared jensen and misha and i asked him can you write always keep fighting on it and the handler right next to him was like he's not allowed to write anything extra on it and literally she didn't even finish her sentence before he like already finished writing it (laughs) and it's it's one of those things where it's like i know they don't probably agree with all the rules of the autographs because they want to be able to like you know give fans the experience that they're paying for and that they're hoping for it's just it's capitalism it's fucking capitalism (laughs) oh no it is it is definitely very it's a really strange thing um some of these cons it depends on it's why i like going to the overall cons because you know there isn't as much favoritism towards one thing um yeah and then again like you you get different experiences with different shows and whatnot yeah Yeah. but i guess we'll see how it goes in terms of i just realized that we went on a really long tangent (laughs) that's okay you should keep it in the video oh hell yeah no this is definitely staying this is this is definitely staying in (laughs) Um, but I guess, uh, kind of going back to it, um, yeah, I don't know in terms of, uh, I like, I, essentially how you, you're, what did you, you said, uh, all the things you wanted, but in the worst way possible. Yeah. Everything I wanted in the worst way possible. It's a good I way. Like... It's a good way to describe it. Um, yeah. Because it's more like, um, I was okay with the fact that Sam and Dean are living in heaven together for eternity. I'm just not cool with how we got there. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm honestly just going to kind of go off of that season five has been the end, and then this has just been a glorified fan fiction ever since. <laughs> like, I'm, I, my plan is, I, I think from, from what I've gathered from my math, I'm going to be finishing season five by October or November. Mm-hmm. And I plan, Very, this is a very stupid story, but when season six premiered, I was in... I was in the I was in Washington State, uh, mm-hmm. on the on the uh, on the west on the left side, not like the capital. I was in like the, where Seattle and whatnot is. I was on the I the the peninsula, the Olympic Peninsula. It's apparently it's where the fucking Twilight books take place. Mm-hmm. I was there watching the season premiere of, se- episode, of season six, and I remember being so infuriated with how bad the audio was. Uh, the uh, I made a long distance phone call to the production to the uh, the produ- uh, the uh, what's it the channel Czech TV it's like for Victoria mm-hmm. TV I, I was like get your goddamn audio sorted because the first half of episodes <laughs> of the first episode of season six was uh, not synced it was off mm-hmm. and it was jarring oh. for the first twenty minutes it, like the audio was off and they didn't fix Damn. it until the latter on until the, in the middle of the episode but. I just associate season six with this place because it was a t- I, it was a shitty trip <laughs> with my family. Yeah. It just sucked. It was like it's a boring place. It's not that interesting, at least for me. And I plan to go back there to film to do my first review of episode six. And I don't know. It it it, it turns back. It, it basically my whole long tangent of this is. It comes back to that supernatural has had significant meaning in my life. It's I can remember where I watched fucking episodes of it. I can Same. remember <laughs> moments of it. I I my life, my first five years of the show, kind of formed to like what I wore, what I talked about, what my interests were. Um, even though the show does end on a note that is honestly very underwhelming for a lot of people it's had its effect on me and it's had its effect obviously on a lot of other people and i'm not going to take that part away like yeah the show kind of turned to garbage at the end but there are like i've been going on a bit of a nostalgia train and i think i haven't been able to come out of it since the episode (laughs) since the episode aired but there's a lot no it's, it, it was a part of my life it was literally half of my life and going forward without like technically speaking when september comes around october september comes around of this year it's going to be really weird not knowing that supernatural is coming back yeah because uh, you know i personally i've been watching supernatural for since season uh like i've been watching it live since season 10 but i binge watched season like one through nine on netflix mm-hmm. Um, so it's only been about five years that I've been watching it. Granted, I was, you know, uh, like three when Supernatural first came on the air. Oh, so yeah, 2005, you can't right? Uh, yeah, so two, two, three, four. I was four. Um, <laughs> or wait, I can't count. Hold on. <laughs> I was guess. I was born in 2002, so three, four, five. No, yeah, no wow. I was three. Jesus. I, yeah. oh, my I math was, was correct. Yeah, no, I I just turned uh, 18 a few months ago, so I kind of grew up with the show a little bit just because I, I started watching it when I was like in middle school, um, when it was like the Super Who Lock days where you had like Doctor Who and Supernatural mm-hmm. and Sherlock all on Tumblr. Those were like the three main Girl, fandoms yeah, that like took over the internet. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a piece of media that's going to have a long lasting effect uh, in terms of yeah, and just like shit like i don't know uh, there's certain things that will i guess we'll move on from but it's it's gonna be weird mainly because i have a connection with the show because of my dad and i he that was we started watching this show and i even got him to watch uh after the episode had aired i went over um and i watched the final episode <laughs> and he, oh man he was if you think that i've been brutal he was really fucking brutal um, my dad was brutal about it too. He, my, I forced my dad to watch Supernatural, and oh. he was like, "What the fuck was that?" Yeah, no, he, my dad was just like, "Well, this is rubbish." Uh, yeah, he, he was, um, yeah, it, but it was cool because it was something that we connected on, and that was, yeah, that's why I'm gonna take a, like I'm gonna take while the the show ended badly, I'm gonna can hold on and 
take those good memories I have of it with me. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna like I I gonna do that too. But I'm also gonna like rewatch it and cry about the way it ended just because I'll never be over that. Well, I'm I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested to see how I haven't rewatched season seven. I haven't finished all of season six. I like since I've watched it. Eight, mm-hmm. nine, and ten. I haven't rewatched any of those. Fuck, I might even try and rewatch season eleven and see if it's still as good as I think it was. <laughs> but I'm never rewatching the entirety of the last f- four seasons again. I will, <laughs> I will watch a few episodes here and there. Like for particularly, I really want to rewatch regarding Dean from season twelve because that was the last yeah. good episode I feel that the show ever produced. Mm-hmm. Um, but. And I think that's because it it really stuck to me because uh, I have a history with Alzheimer's in my family. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't. Eh, um, I I will never really rewatch this show again. I have like a little bit of an emotional attachment to Supernatural just because it's been like my comfort show <laughs> um, for a long time. So like I. I uh... I know I'm gonna end up. I I haven't rewatched it since the finale, just because I feel like um, I don't think the finale ruins the show. That's kind of like what I was gonna say, but I don't think it does. It's it's more like the finale kind of just like watching it from the beginning and knowing how it ends now, kind of makes it feel a little like fuck. Because <laughs> like I said before, like um, the ending is exactly you could. It just kind of like negated 15 seasons of character development for these characters Mm -hmm. and like um yeah (laughs) so like when i do end up rewatching it i'm probably just gonna like cut it off on episode 19 and be like that's it that's the end of supernatural episode 20 i don't know her (laughs) yeah oh it's yeah people are gonna take it differently right um yeah um, i know everyone has like different opinions about the finale there's some people that like love it there's some people that like oh, absolutely yeah. despise it there's some people who are in the middle which i i'm i'm i am kind of roasting it a little bit but i did enjoy the episode um besides the fact that dean got killed by a fucking screw and <laughs> that i had to see jared and jensen be all sappy and stuff and that that was like i honestly think that scene of them like that kind of just like carried that whole episode um I, I, that was like the one scene that actually stuck with me through this episode you know what i mean oh that that's essentially the main well because it's like 10 fucking minutes long it's yeah it oh yeah oh I, yeah like i i like i said I, I have that video essay coming soon and it will kind of give my thoughts on what it what the episode did good what it did bad and what it could have done better as well as I, I dare say I dip into fan fiction territory and I actually give my own idea of how the co- this show could have ended, which I have never done. So it's not going to be, it's never, it's not going to be perfect. I'll admit that it's got its own issues, but it's something I think a little bit better, maybe. Probably but, anything better than Andrew Dabb could have done. Well, written, real, so. eh, I'll, I'll, I take what he gave and I kind of twist it to the own, like one of the things that I said that should have been done is don't make Sam's life a fucking montage. You could yeah. kind of make it a montage, but do it not just like literally like a minute of his development. Actually, show how he moved on. Yeah. Hell, no, I even say like, that um, he could have, he should have got his law degree. Like fucking yeah. go all the way back to season one. Or I honestly like I I think it was kind of implied with um having you know Dean Jr. have the anti possession symbol that Sam continued hunting. Um, and like we, we didn't see any of that, and I nope. would have liked to see that. Um, which I think it was just like Sam has a kid, or it was more like Sam's really sad, but Sam now has a kid. Also, and wasn't he his has a dog. What, also, wasn't his kid like at the baby? It was blonde, but then his older son had dark brown hair. Yeah. Fuck! I just noticed that. They explicitly had to put Dean on the overalls to make it very, very clear that Sam named his kid. Oh, Dean. It, yeah, that. Oh no, it was like you don't don't end the show on a goddamn montage. I if yeah, like if you want like that that essentially it was a kind of a different example of how how I met your mother ended. Instead of mm-hmm. like you wasted an entire season on something that didn't fucking matter, and then you try to wrap up your entire show in one episode. Yeah, that ending should have been um, 
That's... I honestly think that like the the plot with God should have been taken care of like let's like episode maybe seventeen or eighteen, so that episodes nineteen and twenty could be used to actually give Sam and Dean a proper ending. One episode, one forty minute episode, for fifteen years, it yeah. just doesn't feel right. No, you know. Especially when the episode right before was just, they just defeated God. It's like, yeah, we got to see, like, Sam and Dino be all, like, domestic and, uh... Well, like, even just... that day, even then, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. um. I, there was just, like, so many other things that could have, like, shown us. Oh, exactly. Um, it, had they actually planned this out and not left it up to one episode. Because I feel, like, honestly, one episode is just not enough time to send sam and dean off mm -hmm. with a proper ending and yeah. i i know people are probably gonna still like disagree with me on this and not everyone will but like i, I just honestly don't feel like that was like sam and dean. i just I, I maybe i'm in denial <laughs> but i just i don't feel like that was like an ending for them i just feel like oh they're well they're in heaven yeah i i just don't want to like I can't like accept it. <laughs> oh yeah, no. It, it, I guess it's a divisive ending, right? It's not a, you know, it's a pretty, not a very good ending, but you know. yeah. But actually, I hate to say, it, but I actually I, I, I gotta go because I gotta go to the washroom. <laughs> I've drank that all my okay. coffee. Um, but I guess uh, if that's our uh, but the, thank you, Jade, for this. Um, this was fun to do. It was actually like I like how our our conversation went in on a tangent but it went in yeah. a good way <laughs> i go um, on tangents all the time oh, so i'm um, glad i'm glad we had that <laughs> no me too um and then oh so i guess we should lay this little uh tidbit we we will do um the part three of the fan question stuff in the future for those of you mm. who are kind of wondering when we were going to do part three uh we will be doing that but obviously like with how ye the year went things are um it, it just we couldn't be done and uh, but we'll try i guess yeah, if you're up for that we'll finish that sometime yeah then. i'm down for it yeah yeah but anyways guys thank you for watching this has uh, been a very long discussion but hopefully a, a very entertaining one for y'all and uh, i guess as before jade thank you for doing this this was really fun to do no problem and thank you for having me and for tolerating me <laughs> oh, no problem no problem all right guys i guess we'll uh, we'll see you guys later goodbye <laughs>